What's going on everyone? We've got another image sent in, another pretty awesome style. So a style with lots of contrast, a lot of quite a bit of saturation, really rich colours. So we are actually working with this image right here, trying to recreate this exact one. So he has sent this into us. And yeah, we get to try to recreate its style. So you guys can also, if you really like his content, he offers his presets here. So go give him a follow down in the description. And if you want, you can check out this here. And you can come here and check out his presets he offers you guys. So yeah, let's get into Lightroom and see if we can create something like this. Okay, so first thing I might do is add in a lot of warmth. As you can see, our image gets a lot warmer. Uh, I'll quickly do some of these. So I definitely want to bring the shadows up. And I'm going to add in a lot of contrast with the curves. So I'm not going to worry about these too much. But we've got really rich, deep colors. And they usually come about by doing an S-curve in the red, green, and blue channels. So we'll do that. Put a good, strong S-curve in each of these channels. So we've done those curves now and there's a little too much contrast but like I said don't worry we didn't worry about this too much before we just did some rough changes but we want nice strong S curves because I feel like that's what gives the real rich colors. So we'll come back up here and take away some of this contrast. These shadows can come up quite a bit. Okay, so we're still looking like got a lot of contrast, but we will take away a lot of the brightness in that with the luminance. So, and just focus on, I'm just focusing on getting the exposure right in the background because I know we're going to come in and we'll have to brush to brighten our subject. So, I'm sort of looking at things like when I'm shifting the shadows and blacks. I'm looking down here. Over here, I know we're going to be brushing along her arms, on her face, along her arm there to bring her out. So for now, because I know he wouldn't have brushed the background. So I'm just sort of trying to get that correct. So we'll try with the HSL now. Just drop some of these colors. You can see these yellows need to come down a lot. Uh, luminance. So I think we can really deepen these greens here. Um, 
Yellows can stay about there. Deepen skin tones. Got a few reds. down uh, the image is already really sharp we, we could just might bring that down and grain we definitely want some grain so now we will we'll try to uh, brush our subject now so Actually, we'll work on the hues, obviously. We'll try to fix up some skin tones. Try to get the colors right before we get the exposure right. And then the reds can be a bit more orange. The yellows. I think can be a bit more orange. Green, so down here, be a bit more warmer. Not much blues going on. And I don't think he's enabled profile corrections. We've got we've got this dark line right up the top, but from what I can see, he hasn't enabled profile corrections. So I'm just gonna brighten the very top here. Just with Okay, so just so we don't have such a thick line up the top there. Right, uh, we'll go to brush. And the first brush I'm going to do is going to be for most of her body. We just need to bring it out. So bracket key, you can make your brush bigger and smaller. You can turn this on to see where you're brushing. Brighter along there. Let's see what we can do with that. So we need we need some exposure. I want to add in some warmth. And then we're looking a little too yellow, so some purple. And then we will soften the skin a lot by dropping the clarity. Yeah, it looks alright for now. So we'll bring, try to bring out her face now so brush add in some warmth reset this uh, 
Uh, we'll bring out the shadows. Just drop the whites so it doesn't get, so we keep those highlights looking quite soft. And the shadows a bit more. And it's looking all right for now. And there's still a little bit of purple in the skin, so I'm trying to get rid of that by adding in warmth, warmth to certain areas. So I'm just going to brush up here. little down here and there's some purple down here as well and then if we just add in some warmth it's gonna take out a lot of that purple and i think we're looking pretty close um yeah pretty happy with that i think can't see too much different made me surround a little drop the shadows a little more just get a bit more contrast on the face um, touch less exposure Good idea to try to make sure the neck is exposed. Um, okay, I think I'm about done with that, guys. Oh, another thing. Just drop these whites even more. We want nice, soft-looking highlights on the skin. Sometimes if your whites are up, it can look quite harsh. So if you bring your whites up, much, much too harsh. And then just to make sure don't have any purples in there, you know, add, try adding in greens, we'll get rid of it as well. But maybe just a bit more warmth. I might just bring up the saturation of the oranges. I think overall the oranges are just not quite there. Maybe in some greens in the background. And I think that's pretty good. Maybe some yellows. Maybe not. Maybe a bit. And I might just actually keep that default sharpening in the image. This one's going to look a little softer because I think it's a screenshot off Instagram. So yeah, I'll leave it there guys. Yeah, you guys can really help me out if you comment down below who you want to see. But keep them, keep them with not too many Instagram followers. That way I can reach out to them and I'll ask them to send in a photo and I can do a tutorial on them. 
And yeah, make sure you do that for me. I read through all the YouTube comments. And if you're liking these tutorials, check out the presets. You guys seem to be really liking those. And yeah, that's about it. You can go give him a follow over on Instagram. Give myself a follow over there as well. And yeah, I might just drop those greens a little. Just noticed. Okay, yeah, I'll leave it there guys. So, presets if you're liking these tutorials. Love getting feedback about those. And yeah, comment down below who you guys want to see. I'll reach out to them, try to do a tutorial on them. And yeah, I suppose I'll be catching you guys in the next one.